Hello guys and welcome to another online lecture of dancers and today basically we are going to look at what we call gene regulation. Um, how those genes actually um, are regulated during the course of either transcription or translation or even the protein synthesis since we know that gene regulation is a very important mechanism that organisms will develop during the course of time for either one reason or the other and in most of the times it is very important since it prevents us from having some diseases or what we call some syndromes during the course of embryonic development so now this gene regulation i am actually going to discuss three basic um, properties of gene regulation and how those things have an impact in gene regulation, how they actually function in gene regulation. Now, the first thing that I want to talk about is going to be the promoters. The promoters, or you can call it enhancers. Now, promoters or the enhancers, as the name implies, to promote something. So these are a particular kind of um, segments of genes that if they are present in a particular um, you know, gene, they enable the continuation of um, continuation of transcription. So it is a kind of gene regulation mechanisms. Now, suppose this is your gene of interest that you are going to study on. And on this gene, um, you know that the gene regulation will start here. Transcription will start here. So um, basically, before the transcription, your gene will be folded. So when you have a folded gene like this, and you have your promoter that will come and bind here, if there is one promoter. So if you have your promoter that will come and bind here, for as long as the promoters will bind, you know, in combination with certain um, transcription factors, either factor one or two, lots of transcriptional factors. So when your uh, promoters bind here, basically the result is going to be like your gene is going to be um, opened. This is um, a closed gene. So your gene is going to be opened as long as transcription is about to start. So when your gene is open now, uh, the promoters will enable your transcription to continue to promote the transcription. So your transcription is actually going to continue if you have what we call the promoters bind your gene of interest of studies. Now, the second aspect that I want to discuss here is the reverse of enhancers, which we call silencers. Now, silencers, just like promoters, the names will explain them. Silencers, when you have a silencer on your gene, it makes sure it reduces the rate of transcription or it can even prevent the transcription of your gene because of some kind of regulatory mechanisms. Uh, probably at that time when your gene is being transcribed, it might end up resulting to a particular syndrome or diseases. As we know, lots of diseases are connected to the um, gene regulation. So silencers are there for that purpose, to prevent the transcription from taking place. So when you have a silencer, it will reduce your transcription rate or it will even stop your transcription. When you have a promoter, the promoters, when they bind to your gene of interest, with the help of certain protein binding factors that we call the transcription factors, it increases the rate of transcription of that particular gene. Now, the third one that I want to talk about is what we call um, insulators. Now, insulators, let's say this is your gene, and this gene, along this um, gene, now you have a region 1, R1, I will donate that one to region 1, and you have R2 here. And we also have R3, we have R4, okay? This can come as a result of um, alternative splicing, though. Okay, when you have these kinds of um, genes, you have different segments or regions of your gene. But your transcription, 
you need you wanted to transcribe just here just this region just this region so what is going to happen is you must have something that will prevent this region from also being transcribed and this region as um, from being transcribed as well as this region so what is going to happen is um, you need some mechanisms that will prevent this so basically the insulators will come and bind here insulators will come and bind here and insulators will come and bind here so that this region will not be transcribed and this region will not be transcribed either so if you look at these results or based on what we explained insulators are there to prevent the over expression of gene to another regions so it prevents the expression of genes you know um you know from the areas that are not needed to be expressed at that particular time so basically these are some of the basic basic um, gene sequences that are very useful in our transcription processes insulators enhancers and promoters the promoters will increase when they bind to your gene region they will increase the rate of um, gene expression the silencers when they bind they will reduce or suppress your rate of gene expressions whereas the insulators will come and bind and prevent the over expression of your gene so i hope it is well explained any question or doubt that you might have feel free to get back to me via my youtube channel and i said get back to you until then thank you and enjoy the video